Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 34 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a division problem here. 9.45 or 9 and 45 hundredths divided by 15. So let's go ahead and eliminate one answer here. All right, so take a look at this. Let's just say we wanted to round this to the nearest hundreds or to the nearest whole number, right? So that four wouldn't quite, it's almost nine and a half, but it's not quite. So really it's nine divided in by 15. Well, how am I gonna divide nine things into 15 sections, right? There's not enough for one for each section, which means my answer is gonna be decimal. It's gonna be smaller than one because I'm gonna have to break those up into fractions in order to put those into 15 equal groups, right? So. I'm just saying we can eliminate A immediately because that, that's going to be too big, right? So uh, let's figure out how we're going to make this work. So we've got 9.45 or 9 and 45 hundredths divided by 15. Now, when we're dividing decimals, we got to first look at is there a decimal in the quotient? Or is there a decimal in the divisor, right? There's going to be a decimal in the quotient. But is there one in the divisor? If so, we're going to have to multiply by 10, 100, 1,000 to move the decimal over. There's not one in the divisor. It's just plain 15. Is there a decimal in the dividend? Yes, 9.45. And that's fine. We're just going to put that right up on the quotient bar. You just put it straight up there. And then basically, you're ignoring the decimal for the rest of the time. Pretend it's 15 divided into 945. That's really all you need to do when you're dividing decimals. It's just first make sure there's no decimals uh, in our divisor. If so, you have to multiply by 10, 100,000, whatever, to move it over. But you have to do the same thing to the dividend, right? But we don't have to worry about that. So let's just divide 15 into 945, right? So 15 doesn't go into 9, right? So look at that. We have a 0 in the 1's place. So it is going to be less than 1, like we thought. All right, so we're just going to do like we would do normal division, right? One digit at a time. 15 goes into 94. Well, 15 times 6, right? That's actually going to be 90. So it's going to get me really close. And then, all right, so it's going to go in evenly. 15 goes into 45, 15, 30, 45, three times. All right, so it looks like 0 0.63 is my answer. It is less than 1. How can we double check our work? Because it looks like 9.45 divided by 15 equals 63 hundredths. But we want to go ahead and just make sure we did it correct here, right? Well, let's write some fact family problems. 9.45 divided by 0 0.63, 63 hundredths equals 15. Well, that doesn't help. Now that gets me that decimal length, the divisor that I didn't want, okay? We can do some multiplication problems. 15 times 63 hundredths is supposed to be 9.45, right? And then you could just flip those, 0 0.63 times 15, 9.45. All right, let's double check it like that. 0.63 times 15, right? And that's going to be, I don't really need that zero there. That's 15, 30, 31. And I'm just going to write 63. And that is going to be 945. Grab this two digits. On the decimal, put it right there, 9.45. All right, we're looking good. 0 0.63, 63 hundredths.